and there are two two of them i get one one you're like uh, is this like a movie you're like okay it's coming you're swimming in the water like you get like this slow motion it's about to take me bam you hold it like this is not crocodile dundee you're ah! you're screaming the air is just bursting out of your lungs you're like moving around and the more movement you make the more the alligator is just coming for you and then bam one one arm is just ripped to shreds gone and then the blood just starts to pour out and you're like there oh, you can't feel that you're like oh my god i gotta get up you try to move with the other arm and bam bam the blood is pouring now think you're both both your arms are just broken, right? You're still trying to move, you're like, ah! and then it comes for the kill shot where it just, it takes your head and just rips it, you know? It breaks your neck like, and then you're just gone. Jesus, that's wild. That's wild. And that's how you go. We have a crazy video for you guys. Grandma got ripped to shreds by an alligator somewhere in Florida. It's always Florida. So without further ado, guys, roll the clip. In today's episode, an 80-year-old oh woman tending to her garden by the God, lake bro. slips no, into the alligator-infested water. I can't Within do that, seconds bro. I of can't. hearing her splash. I can't, bro. I have this thing about getting eaten alive by alligators, but not even alligators, crocodiles. It's, it's water. You're swimming and then... You, you feel like, ah, oh my God, it's just, no, that's not, no, 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 no. And it's grandma. It's grandma. You know, I would understand if it was grandpa. You know, grandpa's like, if, if that happened to grandpa, I would, I would be sad, but it's not like grandma. Grandma, you know, bakes the cookies. Grandma is just so nurturing. You're like, no, not grandma. Ah, oh, shit. Rushing in the water, two alligators rush to the scene looking for an easy meal. Hit that like button and subscribe right now. This is the terrifying alligator attack on Rosemary White. Welcome to Final Affliction. Gardening is typically a risk-free hobby, one which can be enjoyed in retirement. But when it's performed on a lakeside in Florida, it suddenly becomes a risky business, as some people found out when they witnessed their 80-year-old neighbor slip into the alligator-infested water right in front of their eyes. At the Boca Royale Gulf... Listen, what is it with Florida? It's always Florida. If it's not somebody trying to rape a woman... Because I saw this story, this new story of this man trying to rape the gym, and you're just like, God, what is it with the, those people in Florida, man? And then also one more thing. Why have a house close to alligators? Like who who buys a house even in Florida? Like, yeah, you know, you know what would be a good idea? Yeah, let me buy this house. Uh what, what do you guys have there? Yeah, we have we have two bathrooms, four bedrooms, and uh right over the pond there we got some alligators. If you're interested in that, I'll be like, no, I'm not buying a house next to alligators. Jesus. Dolphin Country Club in South Sarasota County, Florida, deadly predators lurked in the on-site lakes oh. and ponds. Covering an area of 1,000 acres, the country club includes a golf course, nature preserves, and is home to more than 1,000 families. Living there also meant sharing your backyard Brother. with some of America's most... Think if you had kids and those alligators just lurking around. Isn't that like the most irresponsible thing to do as a parent? to live in Florida, or maybe it's just me. Maybe, maybe I'm just overthinking it or, but isn't that, that, that's super irresponsible, right? Having some, having your family near all of this, all of this is happening and you're like, oh yeah, uh, do you have about our neighbor? They, they just got eaten alive by an alligator. Oh, well, hey, let's uh, continue eating dinner. Doesn't really work. Deadly predators alligators. Rosemarie Wigan had spent her entire life serving others. She worked in the nursing field in hospitals and medical offices before settling down in Florida to retire. Little did she know that it would turn out to be her premature resting place. Alligators are known to inhabit every body of fresh water in Florida. 
walking besides lakes or ponds in the state is considered dangerous. Bro, that one is huge. Look at that one. And it's just resting, just waiting for its next snack. There are signs along most waterways. What is a what is a sign going to do? Honestly, what is a sign going to do? Get the alligators out of there probably, but a sign warning people to stay away from the edge. Every Bruh. year, dogs that leap into the water are taken by the oh reptiles my. as they look similar to their mammalian prey, such as muskrats, raccoons, and small deer. But occasionally, they consider humans as prey and take an opportunity Bruh. when it presents itself. On Friday, July 15th, 2022, 80-year-old... You don't want to die in a bikini. In a bikini. They're like... Ooh, so unprepared. Rose Marie was doing something that was not normally considered dangerous, okay. gardening. Her property overlooked one of the lakes at the country club. Residents knew alligators lived oh in the pond. God. Sometimes they would come out onto dry land and bask in the sun. Other times, people could spot their knobbly bodies protruding through the water's surface like floating logs. They moved from pond to pond, sometimes crossing the road to do so but they had never caused any problems before. People knew they were there, and they knew they must respect- Look at that, bro. You're going to work and then an alligator is just walking by. And you see the thing, it can take you also when it's like this. It can eat you alive then. But you're just like, oh, let me go to work. Oh, oh there's an alligator, it doesn't really matter. Let me pack in something. Hey baby, uh, get me the salad on Christmas. Uh, we're gonna go over to John. We're invited for dinner. Yeah, sure. Oh, there's an alligator. Huh? That's a that's a pretty large one. Uh, don't be late, baby. Bruh, I wouldn't even go out. Them and avoid them. Oh. Rose Marie and her husband Edward had always maintained their garden impeccably. Gardening was one of Rose Marie's many hobbies, alongside reading, swimming, baking, and even yoga which she practiced at the Englewood YMCA. The couple had lived there in Boca Royale for 20 years and were known to local residents. They were friendly and likable, welcoming new faces to the gated community. When Edward passed away two years ago, Ooh, that's not, that's not a good, that's not a good joke right there. You're trying to eat her alive? Ah, you know, and you're doing that with your girlfriend. Ah. Ah, and then she dies some few months later of an alligator or two alligators ripping her to shreds. Jesus. Before, Rosemary continued the hard work in the garden, something that would soon prove fatal oh, for her. Shit. On the evening of July 15th, she was pulling weeds out of the grassy... Bruh, you never know when it's your time to go. You wake up that day and you're just happy. You're just like, oh, you know. And everything's so mundane. Uh, you know, I'm going to garden a little bit, read my Hunger Games book, and then who knows? Shit! You slip into a pond and you're gone. Nah, man, nah, I don't want to die. Honestly, guys, I don't want to die. I, can't we just make a pill or figure this shit of life out? I would get it if we could just regenerate our bodies so it just keeps us going forever. Bank in her garden. Her back was turned to the water. Oh. It was around 7.45 p.m. The air was warm and still. The sounds from the neighbors drifted over the water. The roar of a car rolling by in the quiet neighborhood. People mowing their grass. It was a regular evening. Two alligators floated in the lake a short distance away from Rosemary's property. Locals had watched them oh grow over the years. God. One neighbor had moved in when the alligators Bruh. were just four feet long but now they were considerably larger than that. And My guy, you're challenging fate there. You're, cha you're challenging fate when you're doing that. Posed a real threat to anyone entering oh. the water. Residents knew to keep their dogs on uh, a leash. This was a crazy story about this old lady. This was a crazy... Like, it just came out of nowhere. Try to take the dog. She throws the dog to the side, and then bam. That's it. And she was just going on a walk. And that's what I'm saying. Like, 
Who buys a house next to all of this? Who does that? I get it if you do it in the ghetto. Okay, you know it, there's gun violence. Then you know, okay, I might get shot, but you can plead with that person. Hey, please don't shoot me. I'm not, oh, please. You can, say, but it, what are you going to say to an alligator? Please don't. Bro, it doesn't matter, and it doesn't discriminate. That evening, the two resident alligators were largely hidden by the rushes and reeds lining the bank, but their senses were always alert. They were opportunistic oh hunters, always on the search for an easy Look meal. At the pig, bro. Always Look ready. At the... Bro, you barely made it, my guy. You barely survived. To react. When Rose tugged on a particularly stubborn weed in the bank of her lawn, it suddenly gave way. She stumbled backwards, okay, lost that's... her footing, and she was sent flying oh into the water. God. Sent to Christ directly. She landed with a loud oh. splash. Shaken and surprised, she scrambled to right herself and climb out of the pond. Mm. She fumbled in the water, kicking and splashing furiously, but she didn't realize that she was just moments away from death, and she didn't see what was behind her. Some Brother, you don't want to die in your bikini. You do not want to die in a bikini. Neighbors who had seen Rosemarie fall into the water thought that she had been walking in her garden oh. when she had suddenly fallen. They suspected that she may have experienced some kind of medical episode, which caused her to collapse and fall oh. into the lake. Either way, the loud splash alerted neighbors to the danger she was in, but they weren't the only ones to notice the 80-year-old lying vulnerable in the water. All the commotion had alerted the two alligators to her struggle. Instinct kicked in, and they swam purposefully towards her. A prey animal in distress was the easiest of targets, yeah. and they homed in. Their eyes were sharp. Bruh. The way he's explaining this is crazy. Their movement smooth as they glided along the surface oh of the lake, God. propelled by their muscular tails. From the other side of the water, residents spotted the telltale outlines of the two large alligators swimming towards the woman. A small bow wave in front of their rounded snouts, their dark bodies, shadows beneath the water's surface. They yelled at Rosemarie to hurry and get out of the lake, but before she could escape the water, Rose was firstly trying to keep herself afloat. The shock of the cold water had taken her breath away, oh. and she seemed to be having trouble keeping God. her head above water. Then she kicked for the side. <laughs> and there are two, two of them. I get one, one you're like, uh, is this like a fucking movie? You're like, okay. It's coming, you're swimming in the water. Like you get like this slow motion. It's about to take me. Bam, you hold it. Like this is not crocodile dundee. You're ah! you're screaming. The air is just bursting out of your lungs. You're like moving around. And the more movement you make, the more the alligator is just coming for you. And then bam, one one arm is just ripped to shreds, gone. And then the blood just starts to pour out. And you're like, there, oh, you can't feel that. You're like, oh my God, I gotta get up. You try to move with the other arm and bam, bam, the blood is pouring. Now think you're both, both your arms are just broken, right? You're still trying to move. You're like, ah, and then it comes for the kill shot where it just, it takes your head and just rips it. You know, it breaks your neck like, and then you're just gone. Jesus, that's wild. That's wild. And that's how you go. And this is happening within maybe what? A minute. A minute. Ah, oh, shit. That's a, that's a minute. And that minute it's in your mind. It's replaying. That's like maybe what? 10, 10 to 15 minutes. This is all happening. And it's, and it's just eating you alive. And you can see yourself as you just disappear. But you can feel it. You feel it the whole time and you feel, oh my. Jesus. I didn't alligators grab hold of her. She let out a cry as she was pulled backwards away from the safety of dry land. The alligator's teeth ripped through her skin and their jaws clamped down around her legs. 
both reptiles attacking uh, simultaneously. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. The elderly lady didn't stand a chance as she was pulled under the water. Horrified onlookers immediately rushed to the lakeside and dialed for the emergency uh, services. A lady just drowned. She's get, she's getting she's getting eaten alive by uh, bro, you're just she's getting eaten alive by Where are you? Wait. Ha. Uh, hi. Oh, did I? Oh, did I just witness that? Oh my God! Okay, ah, uh, help! Where are you? Help! Bro, why are you? Why are you supposed to say to that? Jesus! And this lady was across the water. Oh my! Looked like she was trimming the edge, and she fell in. She was screaming. I tried oh to get my. to her, and she went under. I just couldn't find her. I'm walking over there now. Okay. Yeah, I can see the gator floating in the water. So I'm not going, like, so I'm not going in back. There's something floating around here now. Oh my God, is that her? She tried to fight back. She tried to oh pull herself God. free. But the enormous reptiles, one measuring eight foot, 10 inches long, and the other- Bro, we need to come up with like clothes which can protect us against this. Like maybe like nanotechnology or something which can protect us. We, bro, it, oh my God, bro. Something, bro. Bulletproof clothes or something for older people. Seven foot seven inches were too powerful. With a bite force of more oh, than 2,000 PSI, the alligators weren't letting go. They readjusted their grip and rolled Rose over and over. The force from the attack mm. dislocated Rose's neck and bruised her spinal column. She was gone within a matter of seconds. There was nothing anyone could have done. And although her final moments will play out in the minds of oh, those who witness them, in reality... That's wild. Just slip and fall in. Just like a quick little slip. Just, whoa! Whoa, it's like... It's like in out in the winter when you're walking, right? Sometimes you slip, you're like, whoa. Just that feeling. And then it kicks in. Bam! I'm dead. <laughs> oh, shit! I don't give a damn who you are. You'll be screaming. Help! Ah! Ah! Just screaming your lungs out. Reality, the whole thing happened in less than a minute. It was so quick. The raw power of the alligator's attack was brutal and deadly. Hearing the commotion, other neighbors rushed to the scene. They found Rose face down in the water. The emergency services arrived at 8.15 p.m. and she was pulled from the lake. Tragically, she was pronounced dead at the scene. It was an incredible shock for the... <laughs> Why do you arrest the alligator? My God, that's like the dumbest thing I've ever seen. ...community and for all who knew Rose Marie. She had died in the most horrific way imaginable, just feet from her own Ooh. home. Her family had already been through so much, having lost Edward just two years earlier, and now they had to say goodbye. Bruh, that joke is wild. That joke is wild. Ah, ah, brah, that's, that's, ah, oh my God. I to Rose Marie as well. The close knit community was shaken. To have such a terrible attack happen just yards from their own homes really brought home just how dangerous the water can be. An expert local trapper was called in and caught the two alligators. They were relocated elsewhere. Other alligators in the gated community were also removed to reassure residents that those responsible were no longer in the area. Bro, this is so irresponsible of you guys to have even kids running around this. Kids, guys. Infants. They have no chance. Think they're just playing in the background or in the backyard. Bro, it's... But I, I don't know. This is this this right here in Florida. They should have a discussion about this because this is crazy. You can't you can't do that. <laughs>